we have a rectangular block with a square base. It is given to me that the total surface area of all the sides is 120. So the bottom here is going to be a uh, x square, and here is also going to be x square. So I have two times of x square, and one side here is x times y. There are four of this, so it is plus four times of x y. This is equal to 120. Simplifying this, x square plus 2xy, this is equal to 60. I'm going to call this equation number 1. And then it is also given to me that if I were to add up all the ages, the length of the ages, it is going to be equal to 54. There's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of this x. So it is going to be 8x plus, as for y, there are 4 sides, 4 ages with uh, length y. So plus 4y, this is equal to 54. If I were to make y the subject, y is going to be equal to 1 over 2, 27 minus 4x. This, I'm going to call it equation number 2. I'm going to sub equation number 2 into equation number 1. So that I can have an equation in terms of just x to prove what the question wants me to prove. So if I were to sub 2 into 1, I will have an x squared plus 2x of y which is 1 over 2 of 27 minus 4x. This is equal to 60. So x squared plus x of 27 minus 4x is equal to 60. If I were to expand this and shift everything over to the left hand side, I will have a minus 3x squared plus 27x minus 60 is equal to 0. And if I were to divide throughout by minus 3, I have a x squared minus 9x plus 20 is equal to 0. And this is what the question wants me to show, but I also need to find the possible values of x and y. So using this equation, I'm going to factorize it into x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to 0. So x is going to be 4 or x is going to be equal to 5. When x is equal to 4, if I were to sub it back into this equation over here, that means y is going to be equal to half of 27 minus 4 times 4. y is going to be equal to 11 over 2. Or if I were to sub 5 into the x over here, y is going to be half of 27 minus 4 times 5. y is going to be equal to 7 over 2.